Hey everyone, Bill Nichols TV. Today I want to bring you a quick video, show you a tip on how you can rate and select images in your camera before you import them into Lightroom and carry those ratings over. Alright guys, so this video is going to mostly pertain to you if you're a Canon shooter. I know that some Nikons do have a rating system built in, but I'm going to show you my workflow for what I do in the field and if you're using a Canon camera, something that you can do. So a lot of times when I'm out on a shoot, it might be an architecture shoot, it might be a portrait shoot, it might be just any type of shoot. I've got my 5D Mark IV, 5DS or whatever camera I'm using. Um, I shoot all Canon, just always have. And um, I might get a great shot while I'm out there. And then when I get back, what would happen in the past is that I would forget what that shot was and I'd have to go looking for it. Maybe I would find it, maybe I wouldn't. Well, this is my typical setup that I use. Um, I'll just run through real quick. 5D Mark IV, 7200, Tiffin variable ND filter on the front so that I can shoot wide open during the daytime. I can stop this down from two stops to eight stops, bring that exposure down so I can shoot wide open. So I might be out and getting a bunch of shots. So if I'm shooting a headshot session or I'm shooting a portrait session, or I'm shooting architecture, I might end up with a few hundred shots. And during that, I might either be reviewing those with the client and, and finding the selects that they want, or I might be seeing stuff when I'm just looking at the back of the screen that I think is really great that I wanna make sure that I remember in Lightroom. Well, the Canon cameras have a dedicated rating button. I'm going to show you what that does. Basically, when you're reviewing your images or previewing them on the back LCD, you can rate them from one to five. And I typically just rate them nothing or I rate them a one. So if I rate them a one, then I know that those are ones that I definitely want to look at later in Lightroom. And by design, when I rate them in the camera, that actually tags the picture's EXIF data with a rating that is carried over to Lightroom. So let me show you that really quick. All right, guys, so now I've got these images up. And you can see them right here. So this is a quick, like I said, a family self session where I just basically set these up on a tripod when I was in the image and shot these. So as we're going through, I can just look at these and go, oh yeah, that's great. And rate that three stars just by pressing the rate button. So every time I press this rate button, you'll see the star increment here. It'll go one to five. Then if I press it again when I'm at five, it'll reset back to zero. And then it's not rated. So I'll go three here. Let's say this one's, I like this one a lot. We'll go four. Like I said, I generally rate them zero or one, but I'm gonna rate them at different values to show you in Lightroom what happens. And these are raw images straight out of the camera. So here's one, let's give that two stars. Let's give this four stars. Uh, let's give that five stars. We'll give that five stars. And now let's just give maybe this one two stars. All right, so now we have a bunch of images rated. Let's go ahead and bring them into Lightroom and then I'll show you how that works. We'll import these images just to a, um, let's just do a quick import here. So just as a reminder, when you're going through and importing images, you can actually do this. Let's grab the first image. Let's go down to our last image and hold down shift. We've selected them all. Now we just need to check one checkbox. They're all checked, ready to import and let's import them. So these are done importing. So we can just scroll down to some of the ones that we know we saw. So like here you go. So here's one star here. Here's a star, here's a star, here's a star. So let's just go over here, turn our filters on, and I will just say, show me rated. And now from that shoot, all of these images right here, let's make the thumbnails a little bit smaller. All of these images have ratings that were applied in the camera before they're ever brought into Lightroom. So this is um, just basically a bright daylight shot. Shot at F2.8, middle of the day. This is actually made possible by using a variable ND to get the exposure for the background right, which would then make her really underexposed. And then there's just one light, a pro photo B2 with a little small beauty dish that's hitting her just above eye level at about a 45 degree angle from her face. Uh, I'll go through lighting for stuff later on, but just a quick idea there. So this is broad daylight, shot at f2.8, used one flash, but you can see five stars here, two stars, one, five stars there, three, two, four. So those stars were brought in uh, from the camera. So just by rating directly in the camera, and that's it. 
So quick video there on how you can filter your images out and make your selects before you ever bring your photos into Lightroom. So one way that this is really good is maybe you're out on a remote shoot or you're out on an architecture shoot or you're out on a portrait shoot. Maybe you have an assistant or at a wedding and you have a second shooter. Maybe you are traveling or something or you're on vacation with your family and you've been shooting. It just doesn't have to be professional shoots at all. So you're out shooting and you get back in the car, you're driving home. You can give that camera to your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whoever's in the car with you. Say, hey, can you go through and kind of tag your favorite pictures? Just rate them, just press that once um, if you like them and don't press it if you don't. And then when you get back, you can see the ones that they selected. I use this all the time with clients. So if I'm out on a remote shoot, I can show a client that maybe they're there with me on an architecture shoot. I can show them some images and when they see one that they really love, I can rate it right then and they don't even realize that. I just press rate, it tags it. When I get back, I know that that's an image that they're really interested in that I want to take a look at and probably work on. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. Really quick episode, like I said, thanks so much for watching another episode of Let's Learn Lightroom. We've got a lot more to come this week. I'm gonna be tra traveling to Boston this week, actually, so I will be recording some premiere videos, some stuff that I can do in my hotel room and show you that. Maybe an indoor test of the Mavic, see how well that does. But uh, stay tuned this week. I will uh, be getting videos out every day this week. And thanks, guys, so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't so that you get notifications. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. You keep watching, I'll keep making videos. Have an awesome day.